update on the death of 16-year-old Preston Lord, who was beaten to death at a Halloween party. The Queen Creek Police Department has submitted charges now to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office against seven individuals in that case. This comes two months following the deadly attack, actually to the day. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis is live at Mesquite High School in Gilbert as the community is honoring Preston. Lindsay, are people talking about this development where there are now recommended charges? Yeah, John and Ellen, there will be a walk from this high school to police headquarters now. People just started to arrive, and that definitely is a topic they are talking about. Um, and now a big crowd is expected tonight. We'll have more coming up at 6. This is all in an effort to get police and council to continue to investigate teen violence in the community. Preston was beaten on October 28th and died from his injuries at Phoenix Children's Hospital two days later. This is Queen Creek's first homicide investigation. Ten days later, a vigil was held for him. Preston was a student at Combs High School in nearby Santan Valley. He was on city council and played several sports. Now, since this attack, Gilbert police have reopened four criminal investigations. Gilbert police now have a web page dedicated to investigating teen violence. Most recently, they put out a photo showing a fight on August 18th near Williams Field Road and Market Street. That is one of the investigations that they've reopened. They did not officially link this to the so-called Gilbert Goons Group, but they say they are investigating if this incident and others in Gilbert and neighboring communities are related. The walk is expected to start in about 30 minutes and it'll take about an hour. We'll have more coming up at 6. We begin tonight with a devastating story, a double murder suicide on Christmas Eve and police say the husband of late Maricopa County attorney Alistair Adele pulled the trigger. Police say that he shot and killed his girlfriend and her elderly mother and then shot himself. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis is live tonight at police headquarters with new details. And Lindsay, this is shaken a North Phoenix neighborhood. Yeah, John and Ellen, this is a tragic story. At a time when families are celebrating Christmas, this family is mourning the loss of their loved ones. A holiday gathering on Christmas Eve turned deadly just before 11.30 p.m. Phoenix police responded to a home near Central Avenue and Bethany Home Road and found two women who were shot. 47-year-old Mary Alice Cash and her mother, 83-year-old Cynthia Domini, were both rushed to the hospital but did not survive. 47-year-old David Danito was found dead in his home with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Detectives say David was in a relationship with Mary Alice and there was an altercation right before the shooting. Mary Alice was a mother and a local real estate agent. She was known to many as Molly. David was a widower of former Maricopa County attorney Alistair Adele, who died back in April of last year due to health complications. She passed away about a month after resigning. They were married for nearly 20 years and had two children together. County attorney Rachel Mitchell released this statement after hearing who was involved in the shooting. Quote, it is impossible to comprehend a tragedy such as this. Words cannot adequately express the flood of sorrow. I ask the community to join me in praying for the families affected and most especially Alistair's children. I also ask that the community surround the families with love, kindness, and a respect for the need for privacy. Homicide detectives have taken over the investigation. They say information leading up to the shooting is still being investigated. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News. Nine, the Gilbert Police Department digging deeper into the so-called Gilbert Goons gang and growing concerns about teen violence in the East Valley community. The police department just announced that they are reopening four criminal cases. In at least one of those cases, it involves a 16-year-old who was beaten in the parking lot of an In-N-Out Burger in Gilbert. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis joins us live tonight in studio after speaking with that victim's father. John and Ellen, this assault and robbery happened on August 18th. It's the reason why Richard Keener withdrew his son from school to live with his mom overseas. He says it's not safe for a son to walk out in public. Several events led up to the moment Richard Keener's 16-year-old son was attacked in the beginning of the school year. It started out with his son receiving threatening messages on Snapchat from someone he didn't know. They were pretty violent. Some had pictures of a gun pointed at him and, you know, 
threatening manners. Keener says he notified his son's school immediately and then the Chandler Unified School District. Week after that, the same kids that were threatening him, they showed up to my house. They knew where I worked, they knew what car I drove, they knew where I lived. So they showed up uh, at my house threatening me and my son. On August 18th, Keener says his son drove to In-N-Out near Williamsfield Road and Market Street and was attacked in the parking lot. A white pickup truck comes, a bunch of kids in the back, 10 of them jump out and start attacking them. Keener's son suffered internal kidney damage and blood could be seen coming out of his mouth. His Nikes were also stolen. I must have spent an hour that night. It happened with the police officer going through my son's phone and we went through every message they have just to see if, you know, maybe my son instigated something or not. We couldn't find any connection or anything. He doesn't even know these kids. Nobody was ever arrested for this attack. I was really feeling like uh, there was no hope. They gave me a, uh, a case number. I tried following up with them. Nothing. They, they never really gave me any answer. Four months later, Gilbert police reopened this case. A week ago, police released photos of the teens believed to be involved in this assault, asking for assistance in identifying them. I'm grateful that it's open and we're making some progress, but I'm also frustrated as a parent that something didn't happen sooner. Keener doesn't know if the Gilbert Goons group is responsible for this. I moved to Gilbert because it was ranked the safest city in Arizona and the second safest city in the United States. For this to all be uncovered and is very disheartening and uh, I'm just amazed that nothing's happened sooner. Police have not connected this attack to the attack on Preston Lord or other cases of teen violence in the East Valley, but they are still investigating. Reporting live in studio, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News. Well, Gilbert Police now have a web page dedicated to investigating teen violence. Most recently, they put out a photo showing a fight that happened on August 18th near Williamsfield Road and Market Street. Now, they did not officially link this to the so-called Gilbert Goons Group, but they say that they are investigating if this incident and others in Gilbert and neighboring communities are all related. Gilbert Police also says that they are increasing patrols in those high traffic areas. Phoenix Police arrest a man after reports of a man shooting a laser pointer at planes landing at Sky Harbor Airport. 35-year-old William Hill was booked into the Maricopa County Jail. This happened near 19th Avenue and Indian School Road, allegedly. The Phoenix Police helicopter launched in response to initial reports. And according to police, the man continued to aim the laser pointer at the police chopper. The FAA reports about 9,500 of these incidents in a year, and they are punishable with fines of more than $10,000.